so gearing up for ICU shift, uh, 24 hours shift starts at 7.30 and then goes all the way until about 8 o'clock, 8.30 is usually when I get out of here the next morning. I'm trying to whisper right now because for sure there are still other residents and med students sleeping in the rooms next to us. But uh, we'll take stock in the morning of what we got. Coffee pods, always bring those, got three of those. And I've got my big bag of food that needs to last me a full 24 hours. So, got two Cliff Bars in here, got some like homemade meals, got some guac for later on. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Other things, stethoscope, definitely rotation for that. And really nifty pen light, um, which I find is just so much more helpful than using like your, your phone camera to assess pupils. I've also got an additional alarm clock from home, but I'll tell you more about that later on because we're going to go do handover from the night team now and then we're going to get started. So the thing about ICU is that you are always doing something, whether that's a procedure like an art line or a central line or a lumbar puncture or an intubation, or you're doing some sort of family care conference or a multidisciplinary team meeting, there's always something going on. It is probably the most advanced rotation that you're going to do in all of your residency and you'll be combining skills from internal medicine, emergency medicine, family medicine, and basically anything else that you've been doing so far. Just got another console to emerge, so we're going to go check it out. And uh, if the patient is too sick for transfer to the ward, then that's normally when we bring them into the ICU instead. Typically that's if the patient's going to be intubated or if they're already intubated or if they're on vasopressors or any other high risk conditions. Okay, so got a minute to catch up. I can tell you guys a little bit about the specialty now. Uh, ICU is a little bit different than like internal medicine or any of the other specialties that you'll have for your like hospital rotations. It is the specialty of not letting people die. That's that's your entire job in a nutshell. Everything that you're doing is all critical care and that's where ICU comes from. Uh, but you, you can't obviously stop people from dying. So then your real job is to make death as difficult as is possible. And that's something that I've learned being here for the last little bit. The typical day for one of these 24 hour call shifts, you're gonna see your patients on the floor. Many of them are intubated or they're on pressors and you're going to make adjustments and whatever antibiotics they're on. You're also gonna take new consults and then you're gonna be on the code blue team, meaning anytime the code blue is called on the on the overhead here in the hospital, uh, you're going to respond and you're going to help out running the code there. What that means practically is that I try my best to not sleep on these on these shifts. And if I do, so I have my additional alarm clock here. I set an alarm every like hour just to wake myself up, check my messages, make sure that nursing staff isn't trying to get a hold of me. And it's so that I, on purpose, never really get into that deep sleep. That way, if I hear something on the overhead, I'll actually wake myself up and get able to, to get down there to where I have to go. So I have like a, a ritual that I've developed after every night shift because usually at around like three, four in the morning, I get super hungry. And especially if like you're up all night, you didn't sleep that night. Uh, and right around now, like eight o'clock, like I'm, I'm really hungry. So I always get like a, like a breakfast wrap or something like that. And it is, it's like my favorite part of, of the night shift. Just being able to sit after you're done and kind of relax for a second. So that's the end of the shift. That's the, the ICU shift, 24 hour. Um, overall, it was, it was pretty good last night. Like there wasn't uh, any code blues that were called on the overhead. There were a few calls, a few consults, got to do some procedures. Um, thankfully, no one died on us, which is, is more than you could say on some, some shifts. Um, you know, like being here for, for about a month now, I actually look forward to a quiet night like that. I can say quiet now that the shift is done. Um, because the reality is like, this is by far the hardest rotation that I've ever been on. The hardest one month of training that I've ever done ever and uh, you know huge respect to all the ICU doctors out there and, and nursing and all the other staff that are working in the ICU because it's not a it's not a luxurious life like you're here you do a 24-hour shift 
uh you get the next day off post call but like now I, I don't know like my circadian rhythm is totally thrown off i'm not probably not going to sleep for another three four hours and then uh every now and then like there was a stretch where i had to do three 24-hour shifts in uh in six days and that was terrible um kind of just messed me up for the rest of the month wasn't really able to do much studying because it was like in and out of, of sleep for all the time where i wasn't at work uh yeah not not a not a really uh Definitely not a, a wellness type rotation, but from a learner perspective, I am just incredibly thankful to have gotten a chance to come through because definitely I am a better doctor on the other side of this. I wanted to do this rotation because i um, probably going to end up doing a little bit of rural merch in my practice. I think this is invaluable for practicing things like intubation, uh, doing things like central line placement and all other kinds of procedures that we were doing. And this is really where you get the reps in to be able to see and really treat the, the sick people. Um, and get in and try your best to help out with everything. As a side note though, just kind of final thoughts uh, to anyone that's currently, you know, has a family member or a loved one in the ICU. I'm, I'm really sorry to hear about it. Um, it it's, it's not an easy situation to be in and uh, we're all trying our best. Uh, I'm not really trying to make light of this rotation, just trying to show people what the, what the reality is. And if anyone's interested in terms of med students and, and actual residents that are working, this is what it's like. Really taxing, really draining for everyone involved, but needs to be done. And with that, we'll see you guys all in the next one. If you have any questions about this rotation at all, anything that I'm doing, you just want to check stuff in, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to get back to as many people as I can. We'll see you all in the next one. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Everyone take care.